everybody welcome back to my channel so let's do sagittarius for august 2021 bonus reads this is going to be a general reading take what resonates leave what does not for personal readings and more accuracy you can book me on whatsapp or instagram me details are given below in the description box subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me on instagram for a lot of other updates offers guidance and much more sagittarius Okay, so, all right, Sagittarius, I feel like you're blocking someone from reaching out to you. Uh, there's this person who could be a friend of yours who's trying to reach out to you, talk to you, and get to know you, but you are too closed off, Sagittarius, maybe because of whatever happened in the recent past, you don't want to deal with any more bullshit, so you're like, I'm done with it, so why do just waste your energy on it? I feel like this person feels blocked by you, okay, somehow you're just blocking them or you're acting like they don't exist. Someone you're completely ignoring that they feel like you are treating them like they don't exist, okay. Virgo towards Capricorn, this person is totally stressed out, they want to reach out to you, they want to talk to you, so like, this person is going crazy. I feel they see you as a good catch, they see you as a promising connection, but they're very disappointed. Because you're building walls around yourself. You're avoiding this person totally. And they are stressing. They're mentally very stressed out. This could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with mainly. They may have moon or rising or Venus in Scorpio. So this person is like uh, having sleepless nights. Or is very confused about your behavior towards them. Okay. So this is what it is. I feel like your person is also dreaming a lot about you guys connecting together again. And this person is falling in love with you. So there is a very high chance. They want something like on the lines of uh, relationship, getting into a, a honest relationship, true relationship. So this person wants to take action towards you. And I do see like communication coming, reaching out to you. They'll tell you how they feel for you. Someone is definitely going to reach out to you and tell you how they feel. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, very emotional energy or this person is very emotional towards you, okay? And they are consistently keeping an eye on you, like watching what's going on in your life, okay? So this person feels betrayed, you know, even though you haven't done anything, but they feel somewhere that you've betrayed them, that's how they feel. And they're angry somewhere, but they really want to give this another chance and they really want to let you know clearly how they feel. And your person feels blocked by you, like as if you shut the door on them, okay? This could be someone new you never had any kind of a feeling for, but this person has a lot for you. They have a lot of feelings for you. So yeah, they are coming towards you very fast because they keep on thinking about you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, this huge attraction they feel towards you, crush they feel towards you. Alright, so. Yeah. Yes, you're their wish fulfillment. So you're the one they want to, you know, get to know more because they see a future. They see a possibility of this going somewhere stronger, somewhere deeper. And this person is reaching out to you soon with a chariot here. Could be a cancer person that you're dealing with Scorpio Pisces for some Aries Sagittarius Leo. Okay, fiery energy yet too emotional. They want something stable in this. They want to invest their time and energy into this. They're not someone who would kick you and leave you, you know, in the middle of nowhere. So this is someone who will stick around if you give them a chance. So they will stick around. So yeah, this could be a Virgo person. I feel they, they are feeling lonely maybe because um, they're too overworked or they have the kind of people around them who don't really care about their personal life. So they really feel someone would be there to, you know, get to know them more than what they are, you know, beyond the, just beyond the skin, okay. So they want, they think that you're the one who will understand them. And they must be hurting from something that happened in the recent past. Maybe your person has had a very bad breakup and it it had a very difficult time for this person to get out of that. They were trying to get out of it, but they couldn't. And the moment you came into their life, it, it helped them. It, like, it was a ray of light, it was a new beginning, but then they feel hurt again because you're not giving them that attention or a chance that they want. They want to clarify certain things. They want to let you know that 
no, this is the reason, no, this is the reason, right? So they want to reach out, they want to talk to you, they want this to happen, something going towards solid connection, but they feel like you're taking them for granted, you're not bothered, you don't care, you're not loving them the way they want you. This is your friend, okay, interested in you, or your friends may be helping this person reach out to you more. Your friends may be knowing about this, so there's definitely... Ace of Pentacles, yes, this person is coming for a chance, like they want to prove you that they will not, you know, they will not uh, mess with you, mess up, the, uh, you know, the energy, the energy between you guys. This is a new love, definitely a new person that is very, very, very attracted to you. Pay attention to the red flags. Now, what are these red flags? Maybe this person has some addictions, so, yeah. Okay, I feel like they have a past that they're trying to still get out of and some sort of, uh, you know, foundations from the past energy like codependency. So maybe they won't tell you something, a dark part of their life, a dark side of their life. So that may affect this connection. A person wants to be happy. And you're like a ray of light to this person. They have not felt very much loved anywhere. So they feel like there is a chance with you. Alright. What else do I see for scorpions? Bring love into the situation. Okay. This could be an Aquarius person also. I feel like they want to give you love. Someone wants to reach out to you with a lot of love here and they want things to change for good. A very, very positive change is coming along with them. You need to be practical, okay? So I feel like whenever you're going towards something, don't go for something that's completely out of, you know, expectation or out of league or you never thought it would be. You have to be grounded. You have to dream while being grounded. So... This is a message that uh, you may not like this person, but once you get to know this person, you will see a different side of them that you really love. So there's a lot of love this person is coming up with. Taurus energy, very strong, new energy. I feel like there's definitely a new beginning happening in your love life. So Taurus energy is very strong here. And uh, you're going to get into a very, very solid connection yeah, with this person, whoever it is. All right. Well, let us see from Aries to Pisces, the feelings towards you, Sagittarius. Aries, please. Aries, please. Okay, Aries is kind of afraid of telling you something that is keeping themselves, you know, sneaky. That, that's making them act like sneaky. Taurus. Taurus is in love with you already. Gemini. Or well, they find it extremely beautiful. Gemini is uh, angry. I don't know. They're in a fight mode right now because they want to sort things out, but they don't know how to. Cancer. Cancer wants to resolve issues properly, clearly. They want to tell you what they feel, okay? With all the assertiveness. Leo. Leo sees you as a very good friend. Virgo wants to change things for good. Libra, Libra wants to marry you or they want something committed. They, they see this connection to be a long-term connection. Scorpio is very attracted to you and wants to get to know you more. Sagittarius wants a new beginning. They want to give you a lot of things. They want to see how it goes. So this is nothing promising right now yet. But, uh, yeah. Um, Capricorn feels like they want, they have a lot of problems in their own life, so like they cannot focus on you. Capricorn, Capricorn feels rejected. Okay, so these are the similar cards. So the Capricorn feels rejected or they have a lot of burdens in their life. They don't feel they're lucky enough to have you. Aquarius feels blocked by you. Okay, they want to talk and they're stressing too much. So why not you may reach out to this person. Pisces is uh, wanting a stable commitment, a stable star. Okay, a communication. I feel like Pisces is looking for a nurturing connection that they feel like you, you can give it to them. All right, now let's see what are the signs that you're going to deal with in this month and forward. August and forward. Yeah. 
these are the signs aries new beginnings definitely you're going towards new beginnings this is very clear message for you something from the past is completely ending in your life sagittarius pisces leo aries these are the signs that you will deal with taurus a lot of money coming in as well a lot of stability scorpio is also there there's a lot of passion between you and your person and then there is gemini so these are the most probable signs that you will be dealing with in this month and onwards so yeah that's about it sagittarius i hope you've enjoyed it do share this video like and comment and subscribe to my channel till then i will see you next time bye